So we've come to that time in the term where we're going to be studying for our very first stage one biology test. And this is on topic one. Um, I thought it'd be a good idea to quickly run through the topics we've covered so far and give you a few tips on how to study for this test. It is um, a SACE assessed test, um, so your results will be going towards your SACE grade. Um, 1.1 and 1.2, I've made a short video um, running through those two topics. 1.1 um, is living and non-living things, where we covered the seven traits of living organisms. 1.2 is the cell theory, where we covered the two types of cells, prokaryotic and eukaryotic, and we looked at the organelles within eukaryotic cells. In 1.3, we looked at cell division. So binary fission occurs in prokaryotic cells, and it doesn't have the names of the steps like mitosis because um, the genetic material is different in a prokaryotic cell. There is a plasmid with circular DNA instead of the linear chromosomes within mitosis. Mitosis, we looked at interphase occurring before mitosis, then mitosis is prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase, then after mitosis is cytokinesis. Remember, we thought of PMAT, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase, for mitosis. The end of mitosis and binary fission, um, one cell will become two identical sister cells, daughter cells, sorry. Um, 1.4, we look, looked at cell energy. So we looked at adenosine triphosphate, ATP, and we looked at when the third phosphate group um, was dropped off the end and that bond was broken, um, the energy was released. That was the ATP-ADP cycle. We looked at um, anabolic versus catabolic, um, building up and breaking down. Um, we then looked at photosynthesis and we looked at the equation for photosynthesis, um, which is in the chloroplasts within plant cells. And we looked at um, carbon dioxide and water being then converted into oxygen and glucose. And that was the way that plants could synthesize glucose. Remembering plants also do respiration, as do humans. Um, and we looked at two types of respiration, aerobic with oxygen and anaerobic without oxygen. 1.5, we looked at the cell membrane. So we looked at the structure of the cell membrane, the phospholipid bilayer and the proteins embedded. Um, we called that the fluid mosaic model. And then we looked at the function of the cell membrane was allowing molecules to pass in and out of the cell. And remembering it was selectively permeable, so it selects what could go in and out of the cell. Um, we looked at ways that um, particles could move across a membrane. Um, we looked at passive, no energy with diffusion, um, facilitated diffusion and osmosis, water. Um, and we looked at active transport requiring ATP um, and protein pumps and things like that to um, pump across molecules. We also looked at the surface area to volume ratio and we said that really small cells had a higher ratio and therefore it made them more efficient. So go back and look at all of these topics 1.1 to 1.5. Um, what I've recommended is you complete all of the questions um, from chapter one in your workbook. You've done most of them now anyway. Um, you can review them, go back, try them again. There's also a review test on um, page 99 of your workbook. Um, soon there'll be a practice test on Daymap for you to try and then check your answers. Um, there'll be multiple practice quizzes links um, on Daymap, where you can submit your answers and test yourself out. Um, you can go back and rewrite your notes, look at the PowerPoints again, and you can choose to make flashcards with questions and answers um, to test yourself. 
So good luck um, with practicing for the test. Now hopefully you know more about what's in it, what we've covered so far um, this term and what's required. Good luck.